$9,128 in just two days in profits. Once I understood this trading psychology, which I'm going to share with you today. So what changed? As you can see, before this, I was just losing. I made these little bit of profits. Then I lost, then I lost, then I lost. Most of the times I was just losing my trades. My losing ratio was bigger than my winning ratio. So what actually changed that made me make above $8,000 in profits in just two days. So you have to understand this, that most of the people are don't telling you about it, that it's not just about the trades you are placing. You have to analyze. This is the live chart I'm recording on right now. As you can see, this is British pound and Swiss franc ONDA chart. And this is my stop loss here. As you can see on live, I'm showing you that most of the people show you while replaying the charts. I'm showing you here on the live chart. As you can see here, the chart was below 50 EMA. EMA means exponential moving average as it collects the data of 50 previous candles and show you what is the ongoing average. As you can see, it was going down, down, down and down. And here is red to green and engulfing candle. You have to understand this first that you have to stop looking for these smaller minutes and you have to first check on the daily chart on daily time frame. If some kind of disruption is here above an EMA like here, you can see a gap is there and there is a shooting star in between. So it gives a sense. Okay. If this is going here and the shooting star is coming in between. And as you can see on the previous support level, this was the resistance level. This was the previous support level and it pushed back to previous resistance level. And you can see here that this, this was the previous level in which the candle major structure fall. So by this, you can understand key the trend is going to be eventually rise. So now you go back to always make sure to back test it. I'm not saying to just go with it. Always make sure to back test it. Now fall down to four hour daily chart and go here and see if the trend was actually moving up. Okay. The trend here was moving up. I came back. I came back. I saw, okay, this went down and here is an engulfing candle. Involving candles actually show a trend reversible that a trend is going to reverse. So I placed my stop loss here and as you can see it went up. I can show you an, another example. Let's go to GBP USD dollar and as you can see here again a engulfing candle from red to green and it moved up. This is so damn awesome. You can see first I emulated it here and it fall down. So my stop loss was here because I exited at this point and then I entered at this point and I made it here and I exited so that I don't lose any much. I preferably use an uptrends. I don't prefer using counter trends for trading. This is my personal preference as your personal preference can be different also. And this is British pound Japanese yen. As you can see a very fluctuation, uh, so much of fluctuation is here as yen is going to be a little bit weak. I'm just, this is just my prediction. And as you can see here, what actually intrigued me here was just see this area. This is a double top or you can say two tops, the neckline and it fall below the neckline. It went up, it pushed back and it fall below the back nine. Then I answer understood. Okay. Now it is going to be reversible and the trend is going to be up. It went up, it went up, it went up, it went up and I exited here. You can see how much of profit I would have made and my stop loss was here and it was of one to 1.76 actually. It was 1.2. It was not even a two is to one reward ratio. So now this being clear, I would move forward to something known as journals, move forward to a different thing, which actually helped me to analyze my winning ratio, my losing ratio, my mindset, my thought process. Most of the traders on the channel don't showcase this, but this is actually a crucial and very important part of your journey. And many few traders are there who are actually showcasing you how to do general your trade and how to evaluate where are you going wrong and what strategies you need to pick up. So I would highly recommend create a journal, write this or go to myfxbook.com, see some YouTube videos or tutorials. You will understand how these things work and start journaling of your trading, pre-trading session, post-trading session, while trading, what were your mental health? What were the things going in the background? What was your thought process? While analyzing this, you will understand how your thought process works and on what process your brain functions while the trading and after the trading ends. You can put a stop loss timer just like stop loss in a charts so that you can understand and evaluate better in the time duration that how much I won, how much I lost. And you can understand how much pips I went above, how much pips I went below, what was the profit I on that specific number of pips and what I have to tweak in my strategy, my playbook. This is my playbook <laughs> actually very long by this. You can understand and rectify your mistakes along the journey and a very actually a very important to understand this. This not only works 
for you to analyze your winning or losing ratio but helps you documenting your journey while you going a long run because this is not something that will make you quick money and you could millionaire overnight this is a consistent thing you have to document and understand that where are the things you are going wrong and rectify them till then happy trading bye bye